Hey yo, what's up everyone? This is Jeff. So as you may know from my previous videos that I'm rocking the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and I really love this camera. And in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you three very easy methods that you can do in the Vinci Resolve to make the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K raw footage looking fabulous within seconds. So without further ado, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to my computer. So uh, I've already plugged in the Samsung T5 drive and you can open up and you can see uh, the thumbnails of B-roll footage when you click on them you can play them back pretty nice okay so let's open up uh, Resolve okay I've already opened up my Resolve and then you just select those files and drag them into media pool okay so everything is in here. Let me just drag, uh, say this two, okay, maybe this one too. Uh, I'm gonna drag a couple of these because I want to show you different methods and how they look. Okay, so I've already done this. Maybe I want to do some editing. Okay, this is a Mac Mac. All right. Uh, let's see if I drag this here, and I use Mac Mac. I can quickly align them as you can see okay, so it's a very very neat okay when you're on the color tab there are three I'm gonna show you three very easy methods that you can do to make this footage looking right okay number one is to add a lot uh, on under the, the nose right click and lots 3d lot and add a lot okay then uh, this is the black magic lot for the for the camera, but I don't really like this lot. It looks a little bit gray to me, and so I will steer you towards using a uh, Ari lot. Okay, then right away, the footage is really looking quite good, uh, but uh, it's not saturated enough for my liking. So you want to do some, you want to up a little bit of saturation. So. Under here, this is a camera raw. Everything's grayed out because this is set to project. You want to click on clip, so everything is alive. You can change the color temperature, say uh, cool it down or warm it up. Uh, this is a tint, you can do magenta or uh, green. So, all right, over here at saturation, you can add a little bit of saturation to this, maybe 1.2. Okay, maybe two green. Add a little bit of magenta over here. Okay, so this footage is already quite balanced and looking quite nice. And over here, you can use video block level to give it to give the shadow a little bit more vibrance. So, yep. I'm done over here. This is a very, very quick step. All right. Method number two is to add, uh, do a, okay, number two. Did I have two here? Okay, <laughs> method number two, I'm gonna use a uh, timeline, oh, sorry. I'm gonna use uh, OpenFX and do a color space transformation. So, put it over here. Color space, you can choose the input color space from uh, 4K okay. to Output Gamma uh, Rec 709. There we go. Color space also uh, Rec 709. Then this is already uh, color matched to Rec 709 then you will just need to do some uh, some tweaks over here maybe bring down the black level a little bit bring down the white level a little bit maybe add a little bit of saturation yep then you are done using this and method number three is probably my favorite uh, method is to do everything within raw tap over here click on clip so you have to know like uh there are 
two very important things you need to do to make log footage looking right in 709. Number one is to add saturation over here. Number two is to add contrast over here. So immediately, this footage is quite balanced. Right? So maybe I can choose, I can change the ISO a little bit, make it uh, use flat level. So it's really looking very, very nice. Uh, but one thing is, you can see my nose is a little bit blown out, as well as the highlight. So you want to roll off the highlight a little more. So over here, you can see the highlight roll off tab. This will not work if you are using a LUT, but this will work if you're using this method. So you can just do that, and then the highlight is rolled off very, very nicely. But uh, I would not recommend you to use this to the max because uh, you will look very plasticky or maybe too beautiful. <laughs> so you want to do it probably 80, 70 percent for skins, right? So you will look very nice, very natural. If you are looking at, uh, say, this footage, right, let's use the same. All right. If you want to uh, apply the same same settings, just click on Command on Mac or Control on Windows, and just click on the footage that you want to do use the same settings, and just click on Use Settings. Everything is copied there, so very nice. As you can see over here, you can do highlight off. Just uh, pay attention on here, this part, all right? Just pay attention over here. Okay. So it does change a lot of the highlight. And for infrastructures, for scenery, this works fabulously. Okay. So I'm just going to use all the way down. And you can do the same to what's the shadows, but I will not. I want. Well, I will not recommend you to mess the shadows too much. So highlight, very very nice. I can change color temperature over here to cool it down, warm it up. Okay. Actually, it's very very easy using the wind trees off. Also, I'm going to show you how to do lens uh, distortion correction. So. Over here, you can go, you can open up OpenFX and look for lens distortion and just drop that in. Then you can see immediately, right? Uh, this is how it starts. So you can do, uh, you can see the footage, it corrects uh, some of the distortion. So uh, you can, depends on. On the lens that you choose, if it's a wide angle, maybe it has a little bit of error distortion, so you can correct them. Just add a little bit of correction, right? so your footage is going to look uh, better. Okay. All right. So this is uh, lens distortion, and also uh, I'm going to show you how to add uh, denoiser. Over here, over here at this tab, this is a no how to remove noise. Over here at the threshold, everything is actually linked together. So you want to unlink them by pressing this this button over here. Uh, Luma is all is normally set to two and chroma at ten, but this is what I use, right? Two and ten to to clean up. The, the noise, as you can see, right? So without noise, you can see without and with. So it actually cleans up quite a little, quite a bit, and it's not too strong, so your footage doesn't look too plasticky. I hope you enjoyed this quick, quick tutorial, and if you have any questions, please leave them down below and. 
as usual i'm gonna invite you to like and subscribe to my channel if you don't mind it really means a lot to me thank you very much and i will see you in the next one